Thursday. It is April 23rd and our math lesson today is lesson four. We are going to be comparing weight. So you'll be learning some new vocabulary. The first word that you're going to be learning is heavier. So repeat after me. Heavier. Lighter and the same weight. We will be comparing some objects a little bit later in the lesson. So you might want to get a book, um, a, a fairly heavy book, one that you can hold in your hand. Uh, it could be your library book or a different book. And then maybe something really um, small like a pencil or a crayon that is not too heavy. All right, and we're going to go ahead and uh, begin our lesson with our PowerPoint. And here we go. So introducing today about weight is going to be um, our PowerPoint like we did a few lessons ago. And here we go. So comparing weight. Problem of the day. Days of the week. And this has, we're just going to read through this as a little warm up. Sunday, Monday. Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday, Friday, Saturday. So today is April 23rd. Today is Thursday. So we're just going to do this orally. I'm not going to write it down. Today is. So you can do this with me. Today's date is Thursday, April 23rd. And I guess I could go ahead and maybe write this down here. So it is April, April 23rd, Thursday. So if today is April 23rd, Thursday, I'll draw a line, what was yesterday? Yesterday was Wednesday. I'm going to underline Wednesday and that would be what? April. Think about we're still in April. So think of what would be the number the, the number before 23. Say it out loud. If you guessed 22 that would be correct. That would be yesterday's date. So yesterday was Wednesday the 22nd, today is Thursday the 23rd, so tomorrow would be Friday, we're still in April, and the number after 23 would be 24. So we're going to go ahead now and read all of this together orally, and you can just do it with me. Yesterday was Wednesday, April 22nd. Today is Thursday, April 23rd. Tomorrow will be Friday, April 24th. Excellent. Now we're going to move on to our lesson. So when we are comparing weight, this is the big word that we're working on today, weight. We use the words heavier, I'm going to circle this, heavier, lighter, or the same weight. And we've been working with the same when we talked about length and height. So we're using the word same again in describing weight. When we are comparing weight, we use the words heavier, lighter, and the same weight. So we're looking at these two objects. We have heavier. An elephant is heavier than a feather. These, so the elephant is heavier than the feather. The feather is lighter than the elephant. Our two elephants together are about the same weight. Now moving on to the next part. So now we can also use the words heaviest and light test when comparing weights. So we see the girl in the middle. We have the elephant off to the side 
and then we have the feather over here. So repeat after me. The elephant is the heaviest of the objects. Because the elephant is heavier than both the girl and the feather. Of these three objects, the feather is the lightest. Repeat after me. The feather is the lightest of all three objects. And of course, that would put the girl right in the middle of the weights, the, of the objects. When we compare weights, we can use scales or a balance. A scale tells how many pounds, grams, or kilograms an object weight. An, an object weighs. A balance tells what is heavier and what is lighter. Okay, the heavier the object is, it will fall lower. And the lighter the object is, will go up higher. So here we have a bear and we have a banana. The bear is clearly heavier than the banana because it has tipped the scale down. The bear is down here, the banana is up here. So again, a balance tells which is heavier or which is lighter, but it doesn't tell you the exact weight of the objects. It isn't that kind of a scale. Circle the object that is heavier. So we can look at these two after, the le after what we just talked about on the previous page, the previous slide. We know that the heavier object is the one that is tipping the scale downward. So that would be the cat. You can point to the cat, and I'm gonna go ahead and circle the cat. Next, circle the object that is lighter. So now, if the one that's heavier is the one that is down, the one that is lighter would be the one that is up. So the ladybug is lighter than the dog, or the kangaroo. I'm not sure what that is, I think it's a kangaroo. So in the next slide, circle the object that's heavier. So now I want you to point which one is heavier. It's the one that again is tipping the scale down. So the dolphin, repeat after me, the dolphin is heavier than the crayon. Circle the object that is lighter. If you pointed to the little monkey up here, that is correct. We're gonna circle this and repeat after me. The monkey is lighter than the lion. Now circle the object that is heavier than the scissors. So we have the scissors here. Which one of these three objects, the eraser, the pencil, or the backpack, is heavier than the scissors? Which one is heavier? Point to it. If you chose the backpack, that is correct. Clearly our backpack is going to be heavier than the scissors. So repeat after me, the backpack is heavier than the scissors. Next slide, circle the object that is heavier than the pencil. So we have our pencil here. Which one? Is heavier than the pencil? The eraser, the crayon, or this clipboard? If you picked the clipboard, that is correct. Repeat after me, the clipboard is heavier than the pencil. Now we're moving to lighter objects. So we have an iPod right here. Circle the object that is lighter than the iPod. So think about how much an iPod is. Not very heavy, it's not too heavy. Look at this binder, look at this little push pin, and then look at the book. We're thinking of lighter. If you picked the push pin, that is correct. I'm gonna circle it and then repeat after me. The push pin is lighter than the iPod. On this page, which one is lighter than the clipboard? So we have our clipboard here. Which one of these objects, the book, which is pretty thick, the backpack or the marker? If you picked the marker, that is correct. Repeat after me. The marker is lighter than the clipboard. Show what you know. Circle the object that is lightest and mark an X on the object that is heaviest. 
So we have three objects here, a snail, a wagon, and a zebra. Circle the object that is lightest. We'll start with that. So which one of these would be the lightest? That would probably be the one that's the smallest, and that would be our snail. So if you pointed to that one, that is correct. We'll circle it, we'll circle it now, and then put an X on the object that's the heaviest. So of these three, and we're looking at this zebra, and we are going to pretend that is a real zebra. So we would put an X on the zebra. If it's a stuffed zebra, might not be as heavy as the wagon, but we're going to say it's a real one today. Now repeat after me. The snail is light, the snail is the lightest object. The zebra is the heaviest object. Now try it out. You can find something in your room that is heavier than a pencil and then find something that is lighter than your pencil. And we are going to be doing that soon in our lesson. So now we are going to exit from here and we are going to turn to our friend. And the question is, how can you compare the weights of two objects? Hello! Rafferty got to the barn really early this morning. She's been hopping around since then. She says she found something very interesting in the bucket. Well, I want to see what Rafferty found. Do you? Click the bucket to check it out. Aha! A leaf and a rock. Somebody must have left these things in the bucket yesterday. Rafferty wants to take the object that is lighter back to her burrow. But we have a little problem. We're not exactly sure which one is lighter. It looks like we need a little help. I know how we can figure this out. Come on, let's hop over and see. Kareem holds a block in one hand and a book in the other. Which object do you think is heavier, the book or the block? The weight of an object is how heavy it is. Which object do you think is lighter? Click the block to see if it's lighter. The block is lighter than the book. It doesn't weigh as much as the book. Now think about which object is heavier. Click the book to see if it's heavier. Yes, the book is heavier than the block. The book weighs more than the block. The book is bigger than the block. Can you think of an object that's bigger than the book but lighter? A balloon and a beach ball are both bigger than the book but lighter. The size of an object doesn't really tell you about its weight. You might have a big object that feels light or a small object that feels heavy. A pencil is light enough that you can hold it to write with. Let's compare the weight of the pencil and these other objects. Which of these objects is heavier than the pencil? So think about that for just a moment. Think of a paper clip, your counters in the classroom, or this writing notebook. Which one do you think is heavier? You're right. A notebook is heavier than a pencil. It weighs more. Let's look at different objects. This marker is fairly light so that you can hold it to draw a right. You can compare the weight of a marker with these other objects. Which of these objects is lighter than the marker? So which one is lighter? Don't think the backpack would be. Take a look at the juice or a cube. If you picked the cube. You're right. That's right. The cube is lighter than a marker. Now let's practice with the personal math. Oops. Okay. So now we are going to be using our math book to look at some objects. I did um, tell you to get a couple of objects 
or if you were not able to find anything, you can just go ahead and do the lesson with me. So um, we have here the boy is holding a book and the block. It says, look at the picture, compare the weights of the object. Use the words heavier than, lighter than, or about the same weight to describe the weights. It says, trace the circle around the lighter object. So that would be this one. So we're going to take our pencil and I want you to trace this around this object because that's the lighter object. And then it says to trace an X on the heavier one, which would be the book. So in looking at these two objects, repeat after me. The block is lighter than the book. The book is heavier than the block. Now we're going to move on to the next page. So you can turn over to the back. And here we have some different objects. So we see here a pair of scissors says find the first object in the row and then hold it in your left hand. So if you have a pair of scissors, you can actually hold it in your left hand. And then you can take a look at these three objects, okay? A paper clip and this binder and the rubber band. For number one, it says trace to show the object that is heavier. So this one they've already done for you. They've pointed this out that this object is heavier. So go ahead and trace around it. Now take a look at number two. Circle the object that is heavier than the object in the left side. So right here we see this. Which one of these is going to be heavier? And it's pretty obvious. Point to the one you think it is. If you picked the backpack, that is correct. Go ahead and circle it now. Now we're going to take a look down here at number three. And we're looking, we're changing now to lighter. So now circle the object that is lighter than the object that is in your left hand right here. So if you do have a marker, you can hold it in your left hand and see how it feels. And then visualize, or if you have a book, you can put it in your right hand. So looking at these three objects, which one is going to definitely be lighter than the marker? Point to it. If you point it to the paper clip, that is correct. You can go ahead and circle it now. And the last one, number four. We have an eraser. An eraser is pretty light. Circle the object that is lighter than the object here at the beginning. So a counter, a stapler, or a tape dispenser. So looking at these three, point to the one that is obviously or definitely lighter. If you pointed to the counter, that is correct. Go ahead and circle it. And then you can turn to the next page. We're taking a look here. We have two big open areas. So it says to find a book in the classroom. So I know you guys all had a library book come home with you. I don't know if you returned it when you picked up your materials. If you still have it, you can go ahead and get that book now, or you can use any book from home. And it says, now find an object that is lighter than the book. So if you are holding a book, and then you are holding maybe your pencil, you can tell right away that the pencil is definitely lighter than the book says draw it in the workspace. So find a classroom object that is lighter than a book. So we can draw a pencil because we know that a pencil is definitely lighter than a book. And my pencil I know looks very, very funny. Hopefully yours is a much better drawing than mine. Okay. If you picked a crayon, a paper clip, or something else that's lighter and you would like to draw that instead, you may do it now. Now we're going to do the opposite. You have your book in your hand. Now think of an object or find an object in your bedroom or around your house that is heavier than a book. Hmm. What would be heavier? And think back on this page. Okay, on this page we had a chance to see some objects that were heavier. So think of an object that might be heavier than a book. 
If you guessed a backpack, that would be correct. Or how about yourself? You are definitely heavier than a book, and your mom and dad are too. If you have a pet in your house, a dog, a dog would be heavier than a book. So whatever object you would like, you can draw it here. Or you can draw my object. I'm going to draw, let's see, what is bigger than a book? Well, I know I am bigger than a book, so I'm just going to draw myself. And I'm going to be a very skinny Mrs. Sigmund. I am a stick person today. So if you want to draw yourself, you can. You can draw your parents. Or you can draw a pet. Whatever you would like to draw that is definitely heavier than a book. On our very last page today, it says to draw to show what you know about comparing the weights of two objects. So you can now go ahead and just draw two objects, one that is heavier, one that is lighter, and then compare by talking about them. So again, this is really a review of what we just did. If we want, and then you can draw again any objects you want. If you want to copy mine at this time, you can do that. I'm going to just draw a very, very small paperclip. And I know a paperclip is a lot lighter than a book. So I'm just going to draw a book now. And again, I would prefer you find your own objects to do. But if you can't find any, you can use mine. And we could even draw maybe a line down the middle. So this is a paperclip, and you can repeat after me. My paperclip is lighter than my book. My book is heavier than my paperclip. Now another thing we didn't talk about too much was the same. If you had two paper clips or two books or two of anything, two crayons, you could say that those objects are the same, that they are the same weight. So in conclusion, if I have my pen here and I'm holding my glasses here, they feel about the same. They're about the same weight. So I can say that my pen and my, my glasses are the same weight in comparing weights today. So I hope you enjoyed that. You are finished for today, and I will see you next time. Have a very happy Thursday. Bye-bye.